Welcome to this priceless connect by MasterCard. Many of you lucky ICICI Bank Emerald MasterCard card holders are here with us on an exclusive chat with a very special guest. The man that we are going to be interacting today has an ability to convert most common phrases and beliefs in life into profound life lessons. So I am really honored Really honored to be one of the finest directors we have, and my friend, Mr. Rajkumar Hirani. Yeah, sir. कैसे हो? कैसे हो? Good. This is the only way I can meet you now. मुझे लग रहा है मेरी responsibility खत्म हो गई कि हाँ अब क्या मैं serious बात कर सकता हूँ आप हंसा सकते हो? नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. मुझे आसानी की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती मुझे खाली बैठना पड़ता है. और ये हालत मेरी आप ही ने की है. मुझे कहीं का छोड़ा नहीं। So let's start with the fact of the iconic and I think we all remember it, Fevicol or Luna ad. Oh God, क्या हक क्या चक्कर है उसका? Sir, मैंने गलती से एक बार acting की थी क्योंकि मैं नागपुर में theatre किया करता था और so some people knew about it when I came to Mumbai and Actually, a model was supposed to be on the set, and he fell ill, and they caught me and made me do this what we call ad. Just, just my my observation. You are a very good actor. You are actually a very good actor. I I will tell you a story, Raju. When we were doing the scene, there was one scene like this, in which Sanju is sitting on the floor, and Gracie has some dialogues. Sanju, Gracie, what do they say? Sanju is sitting on the floor. I mean, he's sitting there and he says that he's got a little bit of a floor, so he's got a little bit of water, and he's got a little bit of water. Then Gracie says, yes, yes, it's like that. Raju has shown him Sanju and then he's got a little bit of Gracie. So you have been a very good actor. So why did you ever not think of acting? See, I thought that I didn't have a camera behind me. Why did you say in national interest? Because I'm acting, I'm not sure I'm a horrible actor. I'm not sure I'm a horrible actor. No, I'm not sure I'm a horrible actor. It's better to be behind the camera. And I don't think it's good actually that you take the role of your role. Yes, that's right. Finally, you have to worry about everybody. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. No, no, but honestly speaking, I think I used to do this and I think I'm not a great actor. But the good thing was doing the theatre helped me actually later in every way. When somebody else is performing, so I can sometimes see it from an actor's point of view of what he's going through and what's going on. So, a little bit of theatre knowledge helped later. Yeah, plus as an actor, you too, I know. Do you have a mind which is a very different mind from any directors? I mean, because your films are very different. So to get a a writer, a co-writer, a collaborator to kind of think that way, to connect, how is it possible? And how did this come about? How did let's say how did Abhijat come into the picture? And what is the uh, uh, magic between you two? Yeah. So actually, for a very long time, I thought. Writing is a process which you sit and do yeah. alone. So, Abhijat came into my life in the second film, Lagi Roman Nabhai. I had a very early draft which I remember I had gone to Vinod to narrate. And he happened to be there. He had been writing with Vinod for a long time. So, he happened to be there and he said, Ki, shall I also listen to the narration? So, I said, yes, listen to it. He heard it and it was a film about Gandhi and he's grown up in Ahmedabad. So, he said, uh, can I... It was still a very early draft. There was work needed on it. So I said, can I work on this? Can we collaborate on this? I thought, he used to stay in the US. He was teaching in a university there. So I said, how do I do this? But I didn't understand. I said, okay, we'll do something. He went there and he sent me a scene. Lucky Singh's house is protesting all of them. All you guys are there. So in that scene, one of the old guys, the old man dies actually because of the fasting, which we later removed because we didn't want to show death. So the old man dies and his funeral is happening. And Gandhi ji is there, Munna is there, and for once, Munna says that I don't want to be non-violent. You know, non-violent ways don't work. And Gandhi is there with his little piece of cloth, which flies off in the wind, and you see three bullet marks here. And Munna says that ये आपके non-violent तरीके नहीं चलते, आपको भी तो तीन गोलियों से मार दिया. But Gandhi ji says कि आप मुझे गोलियों से मार सकते हैं, पर मेरे विचारों को नहीं मार सकते. So that scene was there. Finally, this scene didn't stay in the film, but this thought that you you can kill the man, kill but the you man, can't kill, kill his thoughts, thoughts yeah. came back to, into the film. It ended with the with the Gandhi saying. So that's how it started with Abhijat. And I said, "Yeah, it's good." Then, 
we started working and then we realized we have some common things that he grew in a small town in Ahmedabad, I grew up in Nagpur. We had similar stories to tell each other. How do you balance editing and directing? I started my life as an editor. So I am very, very possessive about being in the editing room. Once the shoot is done, I go and stay there. And I think actually film editing table is very big. To me, an editor is an unsung hero. Yaar. Usko, you, know, aapko, you can see the work of a cameraman, you can see the work of a music director, of an actor. You actually can't see the work of an editor. Right. editor. Whether yeah, he saved right. the film right. or right. he right. destroyed the right. film, whatever. So, to me, an editor is not somebody who's just joining shots. An editor is somebody who's actually playing with the mind of, a, mind of the audience. Editing people have, I, I think, it's something which has not got its due. Being worked with you, I know the difference. Because I remember, kabhi -kabhi, when we were talking about, I used to talk about scenes. Ki, aisa kare, aisa kare, and I, would, I could see you doing this. So, Kushtam, I said, फिर पता चला कि यहाँ पे आप एडिट कर रहे हैं वो सीन को दिमाग में बोलते हैं हाँ ये अच्छा है नो इट्स बिकम अ जोक आई रिमेम्बर बमन यूज्ड टू कंस्टेंटली जोक विथ अस बिटवीन द टेक्स आल्सो इफ यू टेक अ लॉन्ग पास आई टेल हिम बमन दिस इज ओके ओके काटता हूँ एडिटिंग में नहीं काटेगा यहीं कटवाएगा वाइ Originally from? So options are Lucknow, Nagpur, Mexico, <laughs> Mumbai. And the right answer is Nagpur. 42% gave the right answer. What is the full name of Baman Irani's uh, screen name virus in Three Idiots? Ah, kya baat hai? Sir, aapki film mein log dekhte hain. 90% got the right answer. एक एक और मजे की बात तीन परसेंट ने विरंदर सेवक भी बोला अच्छा या सो व्हाट इज़ द राइट आंसर राजू आप बताओ वीरू सहस्त्रबुद्धि सहस्त्रबुद्धि एक्चुअली नाम उल्टा रखा गया था बिकॉज़ वी वी डिसाइडेड टू कॉल हिम वायरस कि वो उसको वायरस ही बोलेंगे क्योंकि वो इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स हैं फिर वो वायरस को जस्टिफाई करने के लिए उसका नाम हमने ऐसा ढूंढा कि कहीं दस ए नेम प्लेट वो नेम प्लेट से तोड़ दिया जाएगा अगर नेम प्लेट तो कुछ लेटर्स बच जाएंगे जिसमें वो वायरस बनेगा तो वी दैट्स वाइज सिलेक्टेड नेम वीरू सास्त्र बुद्धे ये मेरे साथ भी होता है याद है सर्किट भी समझ आ रही है नाम भी बता रहा है कहीं पे आप क्या होगा आई शुड टेल दे माम ओरिजिनल स्क्रिप्ट में मुन्ना भाई वेन अर्षद के मिटो द पिक्चर ही वॉज कॉल्ड खुजली आई थिंक खुजली एंड अर्षद सेठ की यार ये बड़ा नाम ऐसा लगता है कि वो कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंटली कुछ खुजलाता रहेगा कुछ कुछ और करते हैं and uh, and then I don't know how circuit came because we thought he's a guy who can yeah, snap yeah. at boy, the boy, boy, we were talking about that only that he gets angry, 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 he gets angry. The next question is, who is Raju's favorite director? Akira Kurosawa, Manmohan Desai, Karan Johar, Mani Ratnam. 47% have said Mani Ratnam. So yeah, yes, I do love Mani Ratnam's work, Wonderful. but uh, here it's uh, Akira Kurosawa. Akira Kurosawa is the Japanese director who's made films like uh, Seven Samurai, Yojimbo, and uh, Roshomon, and many, 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 many more films. So, Shole in a way is inspired from Seven Samurai. Yeah. And a mind blowing, mind blowing director. So, there's an iconic scene breakdown from uh, your film. Okay, so we've got this clip uh, from Sanju. Uh, can we see it? काश उस रात मैंने वो स्पीच डैड को सुना दी होती क्योंकि अगली सुबह डैड उठे ही नहीं
अगर लाइफ को रिवाइंड कर सकता तो वापस जाके डैड को ये स्पीच जरूर सुना देता गुड इवनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन है डैड आज मैं बहुत मुश्किल काम करने जा रहा हूं डैड को थैंक यू बोलने का काम पहले कभी बोल नहीं पाया क्योंकि शब्द ही नहीं मिला जो इन्होंने मेरे लिए किया है उसके लिए हर शब्द छोटा लगता है नाइनटीन एटी वन एक तरफ अस्पताल में पड़ी बीवी दूसरी तरफ ड्रग्स के नशे में पड़ा बेटा डैड ने दोनों जंग लड़ी अकेले आज मैं जिंदा हूं तो सिर्फ इनकी वजह से उस वक्त थैंक यू बोलना चाह पर शब्द ही नहीं मिले डैड ने अमन और शांति के लिए कई पद यात्राएं की हिरोशिमा से नागासाकी, मुंबई से अमृतसर लेकिन उससे कई ज्यादा लंबा और मुश्किल सफर था कोर्ट और पुलिस स्टेशन के चक्कर लगाना लीगल खर्चे इतने बढ़ने लगे कि डैड को अपना घर बेचना पड़ा लेकिन उन्होंने एक बार भी जताया नहीं उस बार फिर मैंने थैंक यू बोलना चाहा लेकिन फिर शब्द नहीं मिले एक पूरी उम्र सोचने के बाद मुझे लगता है कि आज मुझे शब्द मिल गए हैं यू डिजर्व अ बेटर सन डैड आपका मुझसे कोई बेहतर बेटा होना चाहिए था जो आपका सारा बनता ना ही कि मेरी तरह आपको बेसारा करता जो अपनी ईमानदारी के लिए नाम कमाता अपनी बेमानी के लिए नहीं जो आप जैसा ज्यादा होता और मुझे ऐसा कम यू नो वट वो दूसरा बेटा आपसे कभी उतना प्यार नहीं कर पाता जितना आपके नालायक बेटे ने किया कभी कह नहीं पाया पर शो माई हीरो डैड आप मेरा साहस हो मेरा सम्मान हो मेरा अभिमान हो आप मेरी जान हो डैड I want to know the whole process, you know, from paper to screen. You know, you would remember actually we were shooting Lagero Munna Bhai 2006 when that's up passed away. Actually, we were supposed to be shooting that day, and uh, I remember Sanju from then till whenever we met him after the film. Also, he constantly kept on saying, "I had so much to say to Dad," and I think that's how emotion. I think everybody has this. stayed with me and uh, in the film uh, i wanted to capture that in fact the interesting thing is we wrote this scene and we just had this him keeping the letter in his dad's pocket and it used to end there what he wants to say was never there in the film oh, no. so we did many narrations we do a lot of narrations to get reactions and in couple of narrations people said ki par wo chithi mein kya tha so that curiosity to know what is so much later actually we started shooting then we felt we should say what a son would want to say so i remember talking to sanju and saying ki what would you have said he said i would have thanked him for what all he did for my life so then we wrote this piece and which continues on his funeral that what he wanted to say so yeah it's a, it's a common emotion where you have so much to say but we don't say and i think we should all just go out and really hug our parents and say what we have to say your whole uh, collaboration with the kind of actors that you worked with all the all of them uh, i'm talking about uh, ranveer sanju sanju and sunil that what have you learned from them you know cinema is such a collaborative art yeah unlike if you're a painter you're sitting alone and painting everything is your work but cinema is not like that yeah cinema everybody contributes you're writing a script there's a script writer you're going on the sets as an actor who's bringing it to life there's a cameraman who's lighting it up framing it up like that there's a sound recordist who's enhancing the drama there's an editor who's creating this thing so i think everybody actually contributes so my funda is very simple ki dekho achhi film banegi to credit to mujhe hi milne wala hai to jo achhi cheez de raha hai le lo usko bilkul mat roko in a way i've learned from so many people everybody is contribute to the films and that's why you know all these people are there I've continuously worked with them all over again and again. बहुत आपकी तारीफ आरीफ कर ली हमने सोचा थोड़ी तुम्हारी खामियां भी लोगों को बताते हैं तो मैंने सुना है कि आप बहुत ही खराब हो ड्राइंग में 
चलो तो मैं उठा रहा हूँ एक ठीक है और इसके अंदर इसके अंदर बेसिकली फिल्मों के नाम लिखे होंगे ठीक है okay. तो मैं आपको बताऊंगा ना आप हम दोनों को नाम पता होगा और फिर आप स्केच बनाइएगा एंड विद दैट स्केचिंग पीपल विल गेस कि कौन सी फिल्म है ये ओके okay. ओके okay. ये हो जाएगा शायद दिस सीम्स पॉसिबल बाय गॉड अगर ये नहीं मिला लोगों को तो मैं घर पे आके मारूंगा तो देर आर सिक्सटीन परसेंट पीपल हुट इट रॉन्ग आई एम कमिंग होम टू पनिश यू जीरो हद हो गई ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन एक और करते हैं हाँ आई इसमें देखते हैं शायद इसमें बट आई थिंक हो जाएगा ओके द आंसर इज अंधाधुन राजू सम ऑफ दम से ड्रीम गर्ल आईज मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द आईज ओके चलो एक और भी है अरे सर आप इतनी इतनी अच्छी ड्राइंग कर रहे हैं ना लोगों को बहुत मजा आ रहा है वो आप बना दीजिए पूछा नहीं होगी <laughs> अरे वाह सर क्या बात है दैट्स टैलेंट वाह यार ऐसे कैसा होता है जो आसान है वो आता नहीं है जो मुश्किल है वो मतलब लगान आ गया जीरो नहीं आया एट्टी एट परसेंट नॉट बैड सर मैं बता रहा हूँ यू गॉट एन ऑल्टरनेट प्रोफेशन नाउ इंटरेस्टिंग यू नो एक्चुअली वॉट इज मोर इंटरेस्टिंग इज हिज कास्टिंग हाउ वी got him in the script was written as a character who doesn't know how to speak hindi bahut no audition kiya acha chakkar ye ho raha tha ki no all the actors be auditioning actually no hindi yeah so yeah. the women are trying to play as if they don't know hindi yeah. they are sounding like it's an effort ha how we would have those yeah. uh, uh, british characters in the historical films hum uh. tumko bolta hai hum so everything was fake then i remember somebody in the office came up with this idea that why don't we actually try and look for this actor in the us of a uh, indian born there living with an indian family but they're born there so they know a little bit of hindi but not much so we reached out to some casting director in the us and uh, he sent me four five actors out of his omi was one yeah. and as my luck would have it he was coming to india okay. so i met him and we auditioned him and that time omi didn't know anything he didn't know hindi at all very good so but he had a great memory so you give him a he was an actor actor in he was an actor he was doing he some doing, he serials doing there and yeah. he was a trained actor and uh, but he came here he didn't know hindi i gave him a whole page of dialogue from actually munna bhai some scene from munna bhai to for audition and when he auditioned it was very funny because you know when you have very some little words you understand hindi like he understood do so he understood do as two ek do so but he had to in the audition it was ki mujhe wo chai ka cup do to he would say mujhe chai ka cup do you know he would do that and it was hilarious right. because his hand coordination and, his and words were completely different from what he was understanding okay. and i realized he was good my only worry was how would he you know you take an actor yeah. a new actor suddenly you working with an amir and yeah. will be able to cope up with them so i met him couple of times and then i realized he's a confident guy his acting process is in place he'll do it i just requested him ki you should not learn hindi ha huh? you got this film we are shooting 6 months down the line but don't learn hindi don't make any attempt to learn hindi i want you like this you memorize things and say it and uh, because for me that one speech which he supposed to give in oh, hindi hilarious. where he they change his speech hilarious but he since he realized that he is doing a hindi film he got a hindi tutor and he uh. learned 
So when he came and actually did that scene, that was not half as good as he had auditioned, actually. Because he started understanding what he was saying. So on the sets, I had to change some lines, which I thought he won't understand. His hands would go off like that. And now, because he was trying to do his hands moving differently from that. Uh, but it was, it was, I think it was like, it yeah, he's worked. a was great hilarious. fun to work with him. He's a good actor and yeah, yeah, he had fun, fun working with him. Next character everybody would like to know is hmm. Amir in and as PK. Amir, ko, Amir got very excited trying to play the alien. And, uh, but we had decided that the alien is not like a two singh, wala, four eyes, four eyes, four eyes. Wala, it's an alien who looks like us. And we will do little subtle changes in him. So Amir ke humne kaan he used to put those thermocol pieces through the shoot and then we erased it. So he used to do that. And the uh, rest we kept him more or less like that. Uh, so in our conversations, we said, Al alien will not understand anything. If you'll see this cup of you know, tea here, he won't understand what it is. So he should constantly have curiosity. He'll see this book, he'll see this one. Everything is new for him. So he said, don't blink. Don't blink. Look at everything like this, so naturally that curiosity will come. So that takes actually where Amir has not blinked for it's like very one minute, that. one minute he's performing. Very and difficult. the tricky thing used to be, ki especially emotional scenes where you're supposed to cry, how do you do that yeah, without very, blinking? Even when you keep your eyes open for long, you, hmm. I start watering. Watering, huh? So, uh, so there are many things Amir so did. You did this because you didn't like him or because you liked him? Aakhaul ke kaam karo. The another interesting thing we did with him was, uh, First, his clothes were made, Amir's clothes were made. Then Amir said, I don't like these clothes because I'm in the script, I'm going to pick up clothes from people. I'm going to steal clothes from the from those dancing cars, he steals clothes. So he said, we don't make such clothes, let us actually pick up clothes from actual people. So we sent our costume team to Rajasthan. There were these two girls who would stand on the streets of villages and spot one guy and it looked like this is a very good shirt, it's 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 a very good shirt. They would walk up to that man and say, Ki, sir, we need a shirt. The guy would panic, Ki, shirt we will give you four more gifts. Uh -huh. so some of them would agree. Yeah. So most of his clothes are actually picked up from people, from streets. Kya so they are hai? either not fitting him, or they are loose, or they are tight. Yeah. And which, is, which is what like, looks nice. Like, huh, that's what, what makes it very nice. real, that if he's stealing, they shouldn't be to his size and Absolutely. to his this thing. I don't ask. Circuit. Oh. Now, Sarkit is one of our favorite characters, not because ah, he's sitting here. Thank you. Actually, Arshad was not to play Sarkit. Yeah. There was somebody else who was supposed to play Sarkit. And uh, the schedules kept on going here and there. Even Sanju was not supposed to play Munna Bhai. A lot of casting changes happened last moment. Sanju came in. And almost literally, I think 10 or 15 days before the shoot, we didn't have a circuit. And I remember I had seen Arshad's film, Tere Mere Sapne. And I had a list of people who could play not circuit, Munna Bhai actually. And, and in Munna Bhai, one of the names was Arsha Dhyan. Arsha Dhyan, Arsha Dhyan, For whatever. <laughs> no, but you don't have to worry, you played circuit like. So I said, yeah, shall we reach out to Arsha and ask him whether he'd play circuit because even he's actually a leading actor and finally we'll ask him to all sudden. And at that point, it seemed like as if you were uh, second, you are playing a sidekick on script. Though I was very confident that this role will blossom. So I remember that first meeting when yeah. we met and you had some story that you can tell them. But I remember we had no time even to make clothes for you. Nothing. Yeah. So that bl black kurta which Arshad wears, which you think is now very iconic and Arshad in black kurta was, that was the time enough to yeah. make clothes. So we met said, 50 scenes, we can't have 50 costumes. Let's make one black one, costume and yeah, we'll yeah. wear it through the film. There's another that weird thing about Ritambara which, uh, which was ah, the strangest thing. I remember thing. that, I remember that. I have a friend called Ritambara, she's a tarot reader from Delhi. So what happened was that she called me and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to make a film for Ganoj Chopra. And there's a new director called Raju Hirani. And I said, I don't know, it's the first film. She said, who are all acting in this? I said, Sanjay Dutt is there, Tabu is there. And they've called me for a small role, so I don't know if I'm doing all that. So she said, let me see, I've got my card. Check back here. Arshad, you must do this film. And uh, it's going to be a great film. Or aisa hoga, or aisa hoga. And it will change people's opinion about and about Sanju. And this director will be the... You will be loved. I said, my role is not to be loved. <laughs> I said, I'll show you for love. Ke liye. And she said, but they're going to change the girl. 
so anyway, I didn't take it. I just took it as a pinch of salt. I said, let's hear it. And I went and I met Raju and we have chatting. And then I saw Gracie, Gracie walking in. Gracie. Gracie walking in. So I said, what happened? She said, it's a problem of dates, so I did it. I was like, then I told Raju about it. I said, Raju, this is what has happened. So somewhere, I think this film and you were created by God. Oh God. It's karma. It is boss. The industry needed someone like Raju Girani. Hello. With all my in Golo. misbeliefs and superstitions. <laughs> and after making PK, I still find this story very fascinating. <laughs> I, 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 believe, I totally believe in aliens. <laughs> okay, so we, we have another segment. Chalta hmm. Reminiscing priceless moments. What is the story behind Raju Ki Jappi, Raju? Munna Bhai, as you know, was a film about doctors being compassionate. Yeah. What we're trying to say is that if you're not compassionate, don't become doctors. So, I go back, I remember my dad actually was always hugging, always hugging. We'll go there, he was constantly hugging and a very Wonderful. physical man. Wonderful. So, uh, and I always realized the hug actually makes the other person feel very good. You feel comforted, you feel there's somebody with you, you feel very good about it. And somewhere long back, I'd read a story about some hug and how it helped people. And, so we wanted to use it in the film. Film me to dala ki wo us paper ko hug karte hain. But I thought it'll be nice to give it a name. How do we give it a name? And uh, I remember Abbas came up with this. He said, "I was called magic hug, magic hug." Bolta rehta tha. Usne kaha, "Itna kya soch raha magic hug? Call it jadoo ki jappi." So we came up with the jadoo ki jappi. And uh, but when you write the dialogues, you think it's okay. It's a part of the dialogue in the film. Then, you, but you don't realize later how people are going to pick it up and it's going to become a term. Fantastic. <laughs> I tell me about Gandhi Giri. This it's a very risky thing to do. You know that, no? See what happens when you're doing it, na? When you completely believe yeah. in a, this thing, then you're not yeah. scared. It's I think stupidity also sometimes happens. Foolishness. You remember the scene we were shooting uh, in Mukesh Mills, where you we are drunk, you take Gandhi ji yeah, into yeah. the taxi. Yeah, Babu, Rat to Bahar nahi ghumne ka. Ah. So I remember there was a friend who had come there, who had no idea of what we were shooting. shooting. And he said, what is this? That's Gandhi ji. And I said, this is drunk. And he's taking him to the cab yeah. and saying, go to the house and go to the house. He said, what are you guys doing? They'll kill you. <laughs> but I thought he was stupid at that time. I said, why is it going to happen? We're not, we're not yeah. you know, abusing Gandhi ji. Gandhi ji is actually propagating his yeah. theory. So Gandhi giri in a way is opposite of Dada giri. It's propagating non-violence. But instead of just saying ahinsa, ki Gandhi ji ahinsa saath, which is a boring term to use, we created a new word called Gandhi giri, yeah. which would stick with the youth. So, but you're right. That time, I think you are so obsessed, so possessed with it that you don't see the uh, 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 fear behind it. And now we have an interactive uh, uh, segment with the audience. So let's start with the audience. Who's our, who are we? Let, let's hear what are we talking about. So, Raku ji, your film is so beautiful, so beautiful. आपका क्या मोमेंट क्या है जो यू नो रियल राजू जी के बारे में हमें बताएं कि ऐसा एपिसोड बताइए कि क्या चीज रही बेशकीमती जो मतलब व्हिच गिव्स अस अ वाओ मेरे लिए अनडाउटेडली माय मोस्ट प्रेशियस प्राइजलेस मोमेंट इज द रिलीज ऑफ माय फर्स्ट फिल्म मुन्ना भाई एमबीबीएस तो आई रिमेंबर हम लोग उठ के गए थिएटर में गेटी गैलेक्सी में रिएक्शंस देखने के लिए अंदर भाग रहे थे थिएटर में तो वहां गेट कीपर था मैंने उससे पूछा कैसी है फिल्म तो उसने कहा ऐसे एंड माय हार्ट सैंक कि ये क्या बोल रहा है यार फिल्म खराब है बट आई एंटर द थिएटर दो ढाई बज रहे होंगे पहला शो चल रहा था उन दिनों वो बारह से दिन पहला शो होता था और वो सीन चल रहा था वो कैरम बोर्ड वाला कि वो पापा जी पुट्स दैट कॉइन इनसाइड एंड एवरीबडी इन द हॉस्पिटल चेयर्स फॉर हिम एंड ही हैज इज जूस एंड द हॉल वॉज फिफ्टी परसेंट कैपेसिटी आधे लोग थे मगर दे स्टार्ट जम्पिंग एंड स्टार्ट क्लैपिंग एंड वी वे ऑल वेरी टेयरफुल फिर मैंने कहा यार ये क्यों बोल रहा है कि फिल्म ऐसी है देन आई रियलाइज वॉट ही वॉज मीनिंग वॉज दैट फिफ्टी परसेंट है वो उसको तो ब्लैक करनी थी अपनी टिकटें उसके हिसाब से खाली है हॉल खाली है और पहला शो उसने तो फिल्म देखी भी नहीं इवनिंग वी रीस्ट न्यू एम्पायर एंड आई कॉल्ड बमन फ्रॉम देर बमन की भी पहली फिल्म थी आई कॉल्ड एम फ्रॉम देर एंड आई सेड बमन कम हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू सी द रिएक्शन सो उसको न्यू एम्पायर में बाहर खड़ा किया लॉबी में एंड वेन दिस सीन स्टार्टेड आई टू केम इन साइड द हॉल so he's standing behind me dark hall and this carom board scene came and again audience jumped clapping and first audience is magical actually yeah, yeah. they are with you in the film wo cd baja rahe hain taaliyan baja rahe hain and suddenly i hear this big man behind me sobbing <laughs> bomman is crying completely i turned around him and was shaking i took him out gave him a hug and then we stepped out 
एंड वहाँ से नौ के बारह का शो का एक बोर्ड लगा हुआ था हाउस होल्ड एंड टू मी या दैट वॉज द प्राइजलेस मूवमेंट All your characters, they exhibit very interesting philosophies. What are the core, you know, thoughts and philosophies of Raju Hirani as a filmmaker? See, as a filmmaker, it's completely the subject you are dealing with. Whatever you believe in, that starts coming into the script. Like when he started doing Three Idiots, the intention was never to talk about education as something. But while writing the script, whatever you believed in, that philosophy started seeping in. That you know it's not about chasing success it's about uh, chasing excellence that starts coming in so it's it changes from subject to subject have you ever thought ki if circuit for example and pk get stuck in a lift together so some what what will be the chemistry and have you thought of something like this yeah yeah we actually have lots of time thought ki munna circuit rancho pk ye sare ek film mein ho oh. it can be magical पर जिस स्पीड से मैं स्क्रिप्ट लिखता हूँ अरशद को पता है <laughs> <laughs> ये होते होते पता नहीं कब होगी बट या इट्स इट्स मैजिकल थॉट कि एक लिफ्ट में मुन्ना और संजू हो तो दोनों बोतल खोल के वहीं बढ़ जाएंगे सर मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था जैसे अभी अपने ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म्स का चलन एकदम से बड़ा है तो जैसे लोगों का कहना है कि अपना जैसे ये मल्टीप्लेक्सेस और ये सिनेमाज हैं इनका समय जाने वाला है ये ज्यादा लंबे समय अपने साथ नहीं रहेंगे तो इस बारे में आपका क्या सोचना है आपका क्या कहना है नहीं देखिए मेरा पर्सनल बिलीफ तो ये है कि ओ अपनी जगह पर रहेंगे और सिनेमा हॉल लोग जाएंगे बिल्कुल जाएंगे क्योंकि उसका जो एक्सपीरियंस है सिनेमा का मैंने अभी कुछ पंद्रह दिन पहले डेढ़ साल के बाद एक सिनेमा हॉल में छोटे से ऑफिस में जाके एक फिल्म देखी और मैं आपको एक्सपीरियंस बता नहीं सकता हूँ वो क्योंकि फिल्में बनी बनती हैं बड़े पर्दे के लिए और आपका जो वहाँ वाचिंग एक्सपीरियंस है उस साउंड के साथ और उसके साथ वो अलग ही ही है और ये ठीक है वक्त ऐसा रहा कि सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग नहीं मिल सकते मास्क लगे पर जब एक बार निकलेंगे ये फियर एक बार लोगों के अंदर से निकल जाएगा जब जाएंगे तो वो ऐसे जाएंगे कि फिर रुकेंगे नहीं रुकेंगे नहीं रुकेंगे फिल्म एक्चुअली क्या होता है ना कि जब आप थिएटर में जाते हो ना वो एक अलग एक्सपीरियंस दैट्स एन आउटिंग इट्स नॉट जस्ट वॉचिंग अ फिल्म द होल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ट्रैवल फ्रेंड्स पॉपकॉर्न खाना समोसे खाना फिल्म देखना वो एक अलग मजा है उसका फिर वो यू सी द मूवी इन इट्स ऑल ग्लोरी यू नो एंड उसका मजा और होप यू ऑल हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल द आईसीआईसीआई बैंक एमरल्ड मास्टर कार्ड कार्ड होल्डर्स फॉर जॉइनिंग द एक्सक्लूसिव प्राइसलेस कनेक्ट बाय मास्टर कार्ड दिस ऑनेस्टली ब्रॉड बैक सो मेनी वंडरफुल मेमोरीज फॉर मी पर्सनली आई मीन यू नो एंड लाइक आई थिंक माय वंडरफुल फ्रेंड एंड डायरेक्टर वुड राइट टेंशन नहीं लेने का बस कैरम रमवानू जूस पीवानू मत जानी लाइफ गुड नाइट हैव गुड टाइम